Today is 10 years of the late Professor John Evans Outer Mills, uh, ex president. Today is his anniversary, the anniversary of his death. And for me, he was my friend apart from being my president. I knew him before he was nominated as a running mate. And the day after he was nominated as a running mate, uh, as the running mate of Jerry Rollins, came to see me to pray with him. Then when he became vice president, he kept coming to this church. When he was in opposition, he kept coming. When he became president, he kept coming. I'm going to show you a little clip that shows one or two of his visits, but we have records of many of his visits into this church. So my TV people, if you are ready, can we play it? Without further ado, and I'm going to ask uh, our honorable vice president, if, if you would, you know how to do this stuff, you've done this before, okay? If you would, with, and with his lovely bride, okay, if you would help put him, let me just read this, it's from Vision International University. give it to you. Congratulations. God bless you. You've earned it. Amen. Help me. For me. To welcome the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, oh, yeah, Frank, two, four, uh, uh, Professor two, John Evans Adamil. Um, please be seated. Uh, Bishop Dr. Ajina Sari. Pastors and deacons, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Our presence here today is no coincidence. We want to deal with the known. And we know what to expect when we come to word miracle. If we are here today, the least that we can expect from him is the spiritual support that he has always made available to us. We are honored this morning to have the president worship with us. He is not a stranger to the Word Miracle Church. And so I want you to give him a word miracle welcome as we welcome His Excellency Professor John Evans Atamils to bring us greetings. And I'm so appreciative and I'm also honored that I can have the president of our dear nation to come and join me celebrate. Will you stand with me? And help me welcome His Excellency, <laughs> Professor John Evans Atamils, to bring us his greeting.
my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is one occasion that I could not have missed. Indeed, I'm supposed to be traveling out of the country this morning, but I decided that you do what is right and proper. This is because you give praise and thanks where they are due. And I'm particularly happy to be present to join you in celebrating the rich life of Bishop Dr. Arjun Asari. If today I stand before you as president of this dear nation of ours, one of those who have contributed to making me president is Bishop Arjun Asari. I once again, I say happy 50th birthday to you. Now let me make a confession. My voice is not presidential. Therefore, I will not sing happy birthday. <laughs> but I hope you all join me in singing happy birthday to the, our dear bishop. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Bishop. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you now. May God bless you now. May God. So on this occasion, as we celebrate his 10th anniversary, um, I want to say a few things. It's been 10 years since Ghana lost an illustrious son of the land, our former president, Professor John Evans Fifi Atta Mills, whose sudden demise was the first of its kind in our political history for a sitting president. As government, his party and family commemorate the 10th year of his passing. It is proper that all Ghanaians, irrespective of their political or religious persuasions, spare a few minutes to honor the memory of such a unique person who left indelible footprints on the sands of time and whose unforgettable impact will be felt by generations yet unborn. The late Professor Atamils was an unassuming father figure who combined distinct humility with purpose, courage, and fortitude. His values and leadership radiated peace, and his actions fostered harmony and oneness. Indeed, this earned him the Akan Monica Asumjue Hine, Prince of Peace or King of Peace, by which he was known and referred to both within and outside Ghana. The late president was not the quintessential politician, nurtured and groomed by a political tradition. He was a self-made man, an academic per excellence, and one who was steeped in integrity, hard work, unquestionable patriotism, and a sincere love for both his countrymen and God. His unfeigned love for God and the church could be attested to first time by many of his friends, including myself, as he regularly visited and worshipped with our local church. During his presidency, former President J.E. 
Atta Mills set out to end political vindictiveness and to moderate the winner-takes-all political culture in Ghana, much to the displeasure and disappointment of his own party. He resisted the tendency of instantly exiting all chief executive appointees in public institutions and ensured they remained at post until they were formally replaced. This, among other things, earned him the, the title Father for All. Ghana's economic and social progress under his stewardship was telling and exemplary. Unfortunately, his health would not allow him to instill those key values or ensure the sustainable change process he had initiated. He will forever remain in our memories and hearts as we pray that the good Lord will find him perpetual rest in his heavenly abode. By his grace, Archbishop Charles Ajin Asari. Amen. Can we stand as a church and observe a minute silence? in memory of our dear former president. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen.